Next question up is about straps. Uh, this one says, when would you recommend using straps, if ever? Uh, I don't see it being specified in the programming. I don't use straps when doing regular deadlifts, but I did use them when my hands felt like they were getting chewed up doing sets of five block pulls, uh, which usually are five to 10% heavier than my regular deadlifts. Do you see any benefit to using straps for um, exercises, uh, for such exercises and others such as heavy rows uh, or high rep rows, stuff like that. You're right, I don't specify the use of straps in, in this program. Um, and you're also right, in general, I recommend not using them. Um, but it sounds like you've got the general pattern of it down. If the bar is just chewing up your hands and you need a break from that, then yeah, by all means, use some straps. Uh, it would be better to do the work um, with straps than to not do the work. And if your hands are getting chewed up, then I mean, you're not going to be able to pull effectively if your hands are in pain, you know? And, um, yeah, anyway, so that's, that would be a good time to use it also for other kind of off the wall exercises like, uh, snatch grip straight leg deadlifts come to mind. I do like to program those. Uh, they show up in a lot of programs. Um, you can go ahead and use straps on those um, with your grip out wide and double overhand it's just not an ideal <laughs> way to hold on to a barbell so definitely go ahead and use straps on those um, for row work yeah I mean I'm fine with that if you need it but I mean as a general rule uh, use straps as little as possible um, but if it comes down to you know, do the work with straps or don't do the work, I'd rather you do the work with straps. So if there's a general rule, I would say that's it.